And Sharif Hussein who was honored by the Khalifa, Sharif Hussein, who betrayed Islam, sent a message to Fahr Zin Pasha, ordering him to surrender. But Fahr Zin Pasha, he had direct orders from the Holy Prophet to defend the city. Fahr Zin Pasha wrote a letter to Sharif Hussein, addressing him, saying, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. To the one who broke the power of Islam, caused bloodshed against the Muslims, put in danger the Khilafat and the Amir al Mu'minin, and exposed Islam to the dominations of the British. On Thursday night, the 14th of Zulhijjah, I was walking tired and exhausted from thinking about the defense of Medina when I found myself among unknown men working in a small area. Then I saw, in front of me, a man with a most beautiful face. It was Rasulullah His left arm was resting on his hip under his robe. And he said to me in a protecting voice, follow me. I followed him two or three steps and woke up. I ran to the masjid and made sajda near his tomb. I am now under the protection of Rasulullah He is my supreme commander. I am busying myself and strengthening the defenses, building roads and squares in Medina. Do not trouble me with your useless offers. These are the men that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked about in Surah Al-Ma'idah. Allah loves them and they love Him. Bahreddin Pasha kept his promise. He did not surrender Medina. In the end, some of his desperate men, they arrested him and took him by force out of the city. And the Arab rebels, the Wahhabis, the shaitans who are still ruling up till today entered the city. For 12 days, they pillaged Medina. They stole, they desecrated, they disrespected, they destroyed. They broke the locks of more than 4,000 homes and they looted everything. Today, the descendants of those rebels are cursing to Vahreddin Pasha. The descendants of those who let the British enter the Holy Lands are cursing to the defender of Medina. Allah's curse is on the liars. Bahreddin Pasha will be known on the day of Qiyamah as the defender of Medina. Those who betrayed will also be known. Rasulullah said, Every trader will have a banner on the day of resurrection and it will be said, this is the betrayer of so and so. Those who betrayed the Khalifa will have flags above them on the day of judgment saying, the betrayers of the Khalifa of the Ahir Zaman, the betrayers of the Ummat, the betrayers of the Habibullah, the betrayers of Allah. And they are blaming Fahreddin Pasha for removing the sacred relics from Medina to Istanbul. O oh, you who gave help to the enemies of Islam. If Fahreddin Pasha had not rescued the sacred emanats, today they would be sitting in the British Museum. This is the truth of the matter. If Fahreddin Pasha had not rescued the holy turban, the holy cane, the holy sword, the Saidul Kainat, you would have sold them just like you sold out this Ummah. This is the dishonor that the Arabs brought on themselves and on the whole of the Muslim world by betraying the Khalifa. And Sharif Hussein and his children, they were betrayed. Sharif Hussein was exiled to Cyprus where he died, crying for the betrayal of the Khalifa. Perhaps those who are barking against the Ottomans today should also cry for the mistake 